can call her, you know. You can call Debbie and ask her these questions yourself. I don't want to call her. She should call me. Okay. Why can't she call me? I don't know. No? She's uncomfortable there. Is that what Rick said? Rick didn't say anything. But obviously if she hasn't called, she doesn't know what to say. How about, hey Becca, how are you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. Look, if you're pissed, you should call her and tell her. No, Howie. It's her job to call me. You know, I would have been there for her if God forbid something would have ever happened to Robbie or Em. I wouldn't have vanished the way she did. People get weird, you know that. It's probably hard for her, you know? Hard for her? I'm just saying. I mean, look at my brother. Spent the whole funeral talking about the Mets. Obviously couldn't deal. He would talk about anything but Dan. And that's my brother. Yeah, well, your brother's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I should drop her a note. Maybe you should. Dear Debbie, just so as you know, accidents are contagious. Okay, let it go. Let what go? Water is making you tense. You should try to relax a little. I am relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Now turn around. For what? Just stays that way. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> ah. See, your shoulders are all knotted up. Yeah, well. <laughs> Forget about Debbie and Izzy and whoever else is bugging you. She has no idea, by the way. Izzy, no idea what she's getting into. I know. Remember how exhausted we were? The feedings at all hours? The sleep deprivation? Do you really think Izzy's ready for that? Okay, enough about Izzy. You know what? Maybe we should go somewhere. A cruise or something. You need to be happy. You've taken off enough time as it is. I'll talk to Alan. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Kissing your neck. <laughs> Hi. I'm just trying to relax you. Uh huh. <laughs> Something wrong with that. I see what this is. Dimming the lights. I can't even massage my own mind. You don't have eye strain. So? You're trying to seduce me. Am I? Plying me with liquor? What? <laughs> <laughs> Naughty is good. <laughs> used to like naughty. Where are you going? I, I, I still have stuff to bag up. Oh, we'll get it done tomorrow. No, I'll, I'll help you. you. <laughs> I'll help you. Yeah, right. I will. Uh huh. Thank God. I'm sorry. I'm feeling kind of antsy tonight. You're right. Busy stuff got under my skin. Right. So what? We're gonna pout now? Well, Jesus, Beck. Jesus what? It's been eight months. But who's keeping track? I am. I am keeping track. I'm sorry. So what? Makes me burden? Wanting to have sex with my own wife? I didn't say that! Then what? I'm just not ready yet, Howie. I'm sorry if you think that's abnormal. I don't. Then what's the problem here? We're never gonna be ready. If this is just about the sex... It's though. not just about the sex. No, 
then what else is this? This, it's, it's also about, I don't know. Maybe it is just about the sex. Honestly, I don't even know. But we're not gonna wake up suddenly one day and be back where we were. I know that. So we need to at least head in that direction. It might feel strange in the beginning, but... But you but wanna have sex. Don't say it like that. Why not? Because it sounds crass and selfish. Well, considering everything else, the fact that Danny died, for example, don't you think it is a little crass and selfish for you to be roping me into sex when I don't want to have it? Jesus, Beck, I'm not trying to rope you into anything. No? Al Green isn't roping? No. Al Green. No. <laughs> I thought it was nice, that's all. I'm just trying to make things nice. Well, you can't. I'm sorry, but things aren't nice anymore. <laughs>